All right, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I will be teaching mom everything about the Gmail spam folder, understanding it better, knowing what the promotional and social folders are, how to retrieve mail that ended up in the spam that maybe shouldn't have. I'll also show you how to auto filter emails so that they never even hit your real inbox and they go straight to the spam folder. We're going to do this all on a computer. Let's get started. All right, let's get familiar with the spam folder, the social and the promotions folder because these are all kind of just spam folders, okay? So over here in your inbox, you'll see if you scroll down to more, you'll see that you've got a spam folder. What shows up in the spam folder is anything that Gmail thinks is spam, which they're pretty accurate about, or anything that you've marked as spam, okay? Um, you may have set up a filter in the last video. You can go back and watch it. In the last video, I showed you how to set up filters to auto clean out your email box, your inbox. Well, you might have set things that are spam to go into here, but maybe something ended up in here in accident. So this is why they make the spam folder. So if something ended up here in ac on accident, you can go and find it and and make it safe, okay? So let's find something and let's pretend like it's not spam, just for the example. Let's find this Todd Gross guy, okay? Um, if I want to be able to, let me back up. So let's suppose someone emailed you, it ended up in your spam and it shouldn't have. It's something that you want to, um, to save, okay? You want to be able to get emails from this person. And man, I see spams where you get all these naughty <laughs> Viagra emails, so I apologize for any of these headlines. Again, this is my spam folder. I get a lot of it. Um, anyway, so let's say Todd Gross. I actually happen to know who he is. He's a marketer. Uh, let's say I don't want his stuff to go to my spam folder anymore or someone emailed me and they're like, did you get the email? And I said, no. And I go check your spam folder and make it safe. I go here and I find their email in the spam folder. I can now make it safe. So if I click this and why is this message spam? It is similar to messages that were identified as spam in the past. If I report not spam, What's going to happen is now when that person emails me, they'll show up in my regular inbox, okay? So another way to recover emails from your spam that you may want is like this one, for example. I can checkbox it. I could do this with multiple as well. I could mark it as not spam, or I could move it to a label or a folder, just like anything else, okay? Not spam. All right. Now when I get emails from that person, they'll show up in here. Now... Let's assume that the rest of it is spam. Every now and then I want to delete these messages so that they don't take up space on my inbox to free up space. So I'm going to just click delete all spam messages now. Click OK and all 588 of those are going to disappear into my trash folder which in the next video will teach you more about how to manage that and keep that clean. Alright, so hooray there's no spam here. Now I also consider these social and promotional folders pretty spammy so if you go to social if there's anything important here you can read it or you can move it into an appropriate folder but let's assume that it's all spam in my case so I'm going to select all of it by clicking this right here select all and then I'm going to delete it all by clicking the trash can and that's going to delete all of the social emails that I get promotions these are things trying to sell me stuff same thing up here at the top. I can select it all by clicking this. If there's something I don't want to delete, I can deselect it. Okay. And then I can click the trash can and delete everything from this. So those are a couple things I do every week or two to delete from my promotions to save space. Do it again because it did not get them all. Oh, by the way, that's one other trick. Select them all here. Well, it's only showing the first 100. There's still another 355. If I click select all 355 and then click trash, it should delete all of them from my promotions folder. So that's another way to clean out the promotions folder. Okay. And I don't know why there's still, nope, it's just working on it. Okay. So there you go. I've cleaned out my inbox. The only reason I didn't finish cleaning this out is because I have future videos to make to show you, but you should pause the video now. You should clean out your spam folder, you should clean out your social folder, you should clean out your promotions. And if you haven't done so, you should clean out your emails and organizing them 
using labels and filters like I showed you in the last video. All right. In the next video, we'll learn about the trash can and how to recover things from it and how to keep it clean so it's not taking up space. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.